a very warm welcome to our viewers all over the world. It's Sari Jaswal, live from Shinghua. Right now, I'm present at third Block 1 integrated coal power plant uh, located in southeastern part of Pakistan's southern Sindh province. This is a desert region and this particular third coal, uh, third Block 1 plant has the capacity to fulfill the energy demands of 4 million households of Pakistan. This would potentially uh, help Pakistan in saving its uh, foreign exchange reserves as it would help Pakistan to reduce its uh, fuel imports. And it would also help it, Pakistan in enhancing its energy security. So to further explain the project, I have my friend Mazhar Ali with me and he's going to further shed the light on the importance of this project and how it's contributing towards power generation in the country and promoting uh, China-Pakistan friendship. And the, I also want to mention here that it's basically one of the most important uh, energy cooperation projects under the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor framework. Uh, it is, and this particular project is invested and uh, led by China's state-owned Shanghai Electric. So, Mr. Mazhar, please first of all introduce yourself. Uh, thank you so much. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Mazhar Ali Khan. I am working here in Shanghai Electric as a assistant shift engineer. I have been working here <clears throat> since 2021. I was the first experienced employee of this project. This project is one of the mega projects of CPEC, CPEC, Belt and Road Initiative. The project having a capacity of 1320 megawatt. This project is completely based on coal and using a local coal. The best thing about this project is that this coal is not imported by the other country. This is a local thar based coal which not only fulfills the energy requirement of Pakistan as you mentioned earlier but also save the large foreign reserves of Pakistan. Okay, so just uh, let's go and show us how the project functions. So first of all, uh, what are these two uh, big, are they boilers or just big uh, actually, these two are the cooling towers. Okay. When the steam comes through the LP cylinder, we need cooling water to cool that steam to utilize further into the boiler. So the water which exchange the heat from the condenser comes in these two cooling towers. These are the natural draft hyperbolic cooling towers, which is used to cool down the condensate condenser water and drop down its temperature. So that that, that water we use further for the cooling. So how it starts basically, where, where does the whole function okay, start? Okay, the first, we got the coal, coal from, from the coal from yard. Uh, from where? Right, yes, the back, okay. right, uh, just, uh, do you see the building, the white building? Yes. Just behind that, this is the coal, coal yard. Okay. Behind this, we have a coal yard, and then the coal will be transported through the belt conveyor one. Where, where is the conveyor one? The conveyor, like this, the inclined building. Okay, the inclined, inclined yes, okay. the, this is a coal conveyor system. Okay, okay. And then the coal will convey, convey to the to this belt number 9, the belt, conveyor system 9th. Belt number 9, okay. Yes, this okay. system. Okay, okay. And the then bridge. the coal, yes, the bridge. And the coal has been dropped out into these four bunkers. What are we the four bunkers? These bunkers are actually the central coal feeder. Okay. In which the coal has been stored. And then the coal will be dropped onto the coal feeders and then further dropped into the coal mills. Mm. And through the coal mills, the coal will be transported inside the furnace where the combustion took place and then the steam has been generated. That steam will be utilized into the steam turbine to drive our generator and then produce electricity. Okay. So this building is height having 130 meter. Which building? This, this, building. this is a boiler. Okay. The height of the boiler is 130 meter. Okay, and that is our admin block. Okay. Uh, mother, I can see garden here, while I was told that it's basically a desert area. So, uh, what, how, you, how did uh, you manage to get this uh, green field in the area? This project uh, not only focused the generation of the electricity, but also focus on the green, clean environment. Okay. The practical, the example is in front of you, see the beauty of this project. Hmm. Everywhere is a greenery, hmm. everywhere is a gardening, and you know, more than I am telling you that more than the CCR staff, the company has hired for this purpose to make the, the, these all garden, keep them clean and green all the times. So we have a team who will take care of all these gardens all the times. Okay. 
So I think two of our uh, two of your colleagues are coming over here. So is it possible for us if we can have some chat with them? Yes, no problem. Let's have let's have some talk with them. How are you? I am fine. Well, please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Arbido and uh, I am from District Godki and I did my master from China, University Science Technology of China. Is and District uh, Godki uh, here uh, in the Sindh province? Yeah, yes, Sindh province. And recently I am doing as a IT engineer and my responsibility is a cyber security. And, uh, so what do you want to say about this project? You know, do you really think it's helping the local community? Yeah, the it's... The local lo community of Thar and the surrounding areas in yeah. the economic development? Yeah, it's a lot of uh, creative local pe people of health and houses, creative and health issues and creative hospitals, cooperative Angro and Hapco and Shanghai Electric also is create one hospitals. So it's a lot of uh, opportunity provide for locals and all of Pakistan and creative a lot of uh, electricity and uh, low cost electricity is creative. It's based off is uh, CPEC and Chinese government and Pakistan government is a friendship. Thank you so thank much. You. Okay, thank, thank you. you so much. Okay, Mazar, just tell me something about, he just mentioned that this Shanghai Electric along with its local Pakistani partners, they're helping the local community in health and education sector. So, do you know, uh, what do you want to say? How, you know, regarding the corporate social responsibility, how uh, this, pro, uh, this Shanghai Electric is contributing towards the local development? Actually, we have a CSR department. The core responsibility of the CSR department is that we have to take care of the people outside the plant premises. Actually, I mean to say the local people. They always help them, support them, and descend with them through all thick and thin. Okay. Shanghai Electric provide them good job opportunities, give them a good salary. Not only this, they also help them to grow their technical skills so they can move to another country and serve their skills. Okay, okay. So actually this, this, these all are the social uh, responsibilities which was extremely well taken by the Shanghai. Okay. And uh, so what about the local people? Are they happy? Actually for some extent they are happy and uh, most of them are very happy with the Shanghai Electric culture hmm. and with the presence of the Shanghai Electric here in third. Okay. So now we are moving uh, towards, is this just an ordinary office building or? The uh, actually this uh, is an admin block. In this building we have HR department, administration department, CEO office and other uh, conference room for the meeting purpose, for the training purpose. Asha, over here I just want to mention something that third and uh, this project is basically uh, Shanghai Electric under this project has put a lot of emphasis on the corporate social responsibility and uh, uh, it has contributed towards you know uh, poverty alleviation of for uh, of the area to eliminate the poverty in the surrounding area and providing them basic health and education facilities and especially creating job opportunities at every level the project has uh, provided more than 18,000 direct employment opportunities for the locals with a cumulative tax payment of around 120 million US dollar and corporate social responsibility expenditure of over 1.3 million US dollar. So I think uh, uh, it's a big development and uh, uh, I must say that uh, this project is not just about power generation in the country and helping the country resolve its energy crisis but also it's focusing on the corporate social responsibility which is very important and uh, one thing I would like to mention here that for the last almost one and a half decade Pakistan has been going through a severe economic crisis and the two major reasons for this economic crisis have been the shortage of foreign exchange reserves and the energy and the short of uh, shortage of energy so this project has basically contributed a lot in this regard and uh, so actually we have also previously recorded some of the uh, some of the segment on in the upstairs uh, which was uh, CSCR room what do you CCR, control room central control room okay central control room so we would really uh, love our uh, viewers to view some of the our work over there as well
थैंक यू ओके मदर वेर आर वी राइट नाउ दिस इज एक्चुअली द ब्रिज बिटवीन द सी सी आर एंड द एडमिन बिल्डिंग वी आर जस्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द सी सी आर एंड इन द मिडिल ऑफ द एडमिन बिल्डिंग सो नाउ आई थिंक वी कैन इजिली सी विद अ बेटर व्यू द प्लांट राइट सो आई टेल यू समथिंग अबाउट द प्लान दैट दिस दीज आर अवर कैन वेयर बेल्ट बिहाइंड दिस बिहाइंड दिस पिलर्स बिहाइंड दिस uh the uh, you see the clinkers or the cylinder like shape behind this we have a conveyor belt and the coal will transport or the convey through these belts and then come here and then here and feed in these bunkers uh, and you see the esp the boilers, yes the left side yeah, these yeah. all the boiler building on the left the all are the boiler buildings and these are the different equipments which is installed in the boiler which is what we call the auxiliary equipments of the boiler Do you really think this is all uh, state-of-the-art uh, infrastructure? Indeed. Tell us something about indeed. the importance of the infrastructure, please. Indeed, this is one of the most uh, advanced and sophisticated project of our kind. This project, you know, the ultra supercritical, which is the most advanced and uh, sophisticated project. The operating pressure of this project is almost 28.25, which is quite high pressure. and you know for this for this for sus- to sustain this pressure we have a special material used in this boiler or in th- those tubes to sustain this pressure okay and uh, this uh, okay and what about you know we know uh, pakistan has been suffering from a climate change issues yes so do you really think uh, this plant has all the important in uh, protection mechanism to generate clean and green energy that's also important okay your concern is very true but the thing is that we have already ensured that our flue gases shocks and nox emission must be minimum from the threshold level hmm. and for to ensure that we have been installed esp in our project which is called electrostatic precipitator the function of this device is to trap all the fly gases or the fly s okay. also in parallel to this device we have fgd absorption tower mm. the purpose of this is to is to reduce the shock emission which was produced during the combustion of our coal okay and this okay, so now where th- these are the stairs yes these are the stairs down stairs which uh, will lead you to the zero meter and this that way we will go to the sea okay follow so where is this uh, uh, please 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 follow me please follow me on the right and then turn left we will enter into the sea okay, so this is the sea oh yes. and what's in front of us in front of us is the steam turbine which is what we call the 13 meter 13 meter What, what's this this turbine a steam turbine made by the shanghai electric installed by the shanghai electric and obviously the operated by the shanghai electric please come with me then i will show you the different parts of the sh- turbine okay. and this is all state of the art infrastructure yes. obviously this is one of the state state art project and by the way from international standards is it comparative and has a very good quality yes before installation or before the cod we have different testing like the pp8.2 and 8.3 testing so i mean to say this plant is obviously as per international standards so it's meeting all the international standards yes right? meeting all international so standards. this is now we are entering into the central control room where we can see how the chinese and the pakistanis are cooperating with each other and to make and uh, and monitoring different functions what is the main and role of this ccr and how important is it actually ccr is the heart of every power plant and ctr means the central control room where we control the turbine boiler and all the electrical system of that plant actually the plant has been operated from this room okay all the control all the mechanism has been installed and through this dcs system distributed control system we control all the power plant and over here 
And over here. What's the difference between those who are sitting over there and those who are sitting over okay. there? Uh, these all the chief operator and the deputy operator of this power plant, the core responsibility of the chief operator to operate or to monitor all the parameters of the boiler and turbine and keep them smooth running. And on this table, the shift leader who lead the shift sitting behind the chief and deputy so he can easily watch all the things and what's happening inside. And we are having Chinese as well as Pakistanis over here, right? Yes, we have a balanced hiring of Pakistani and Chinese employees. And we have a Pakistani employees, Mr. Bully and Mr. Oh. Aftab. Okay, Wangpa, just uh, let's uh, talk to him. Oh, please Sir, please uh, very good afternoon, guys. Uh, first of all, welcome to the CCR. My name is uh, Walid Tahir, and uh, I am the associate shift lead here. Yeah. So, uh, just tell us about your experience working here in the uh, coal power plant. Okay, that's some interesting question here. Actually, I have been working with these uh, Chinese power plants, especially the CPAC projects, since uh, five years. And uh, to be very honest, it's a great opportunity for us, especially for the people living in Pakistan and in such environment. And uh, the good thing for me, like, uh, I do have a great grip for the Chinese language, so which helps a lot while talking with our uh, shift leader and, uh, of course, the teammates here. So, alhamdulillah, so far so good. It's all, uh, all positive. What do you want to say about uh, working with the Chinese? So do you find them friendly and do you also find them helpful and cooperative? Uh, definitely yes, because it's all about our team collaboration and uh, for example, whatever the actions are given from our end to them. So of course we do obey each other and that is all about the team contribution and uh, that is definitely happening if we do have a good communication on that. What about Chinese as, as teachers? Chinese are teachers, definitely, yes. I think like uh, this is the opportunity because of uh, a platform, you know, like if we do guys know much, but we must need a platform to perform on that. So I think this is especially a very great pr platform to us. So uh, definitely uh, tremendous efforts from the Chinese people. Thank you, so much. Thank you so much. And we have our Chinese friend also here. Hey, please introduce yourself. Hello. Wait, yeah. Hello. Uh, I'm power, power production department civil leader. Uh, today uh, is. What's your name? Oh, my name is uh, Zhu Haibu. How long have you been working over here in Pakistan and specifically in this uh, project? How long have you been here in Pakistan? I have been here uh, for more than, more than two years. Um, uh, when I joined here, uh, I'm very happy to see many Pakistani. Uh, friends, we work here uh, friendly and uh, uh, study many knowledge from each other and uh, we can, <clears throat> our company can supply uh, more cheaper uh, electric for Pakistani. Mm. So, mm. what's your title here? What's your title here? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a civil leader. Okay, civil uh, leader. So, yes. come and introduce us. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, just please introduce some of your friends here. This is our uh, unit two, deputy uh, operator. Oh. He can. He can. Mm, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So let okay. Let's okay. let's talk to him. Hi, bro. Hi, bro. Hi. How are you? How are you? Uh, your name? Uh, my name is New Haudia. Okay, and for how long have you been working here in this plant? Is uh, two. two. More than two. four years. For the last yes. two years. Okay. So, how do you find working with the Pakistani, uh, with the Pakistani fellow staff members? Uh, yes, okay, it's uh, very good. Okay. Uh, you can say in Chinese. It's you can say in Chinese. Um, 我感觉一切都还可以，跟国内差不多。呃，没有什么不。Okay. So he said he is very satisfied while working with the Pakistani staff and according to him the working environment is very good and he is almost uh, working here with almost two years and to find a good working environment in Shanghai Electric. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So this was all we have for you guys today. And uh, at the end, I just want to mention that this year marks the 10th anniversary of the Belt and Road Initiative. 
And this third block one project is one of the many fruits of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, which is a flagship project of the Belt and Road Initiative. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of BRI. And we can see how productive and how fruitful this project has been. And I can say it, I cannot say it with absolute certainty, but I'm quite hopeful that this BRI, uh, with the passage of time, it's not going to be just a major game changer for Pakistan or for the region, but for many parts of the world. If you like our show, please do subscribe to our Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook channels. Thank you.